With the best and worst of b-boying in 2016, this is Flo and Jewel for Asia Dancing. 2016 saw breaking finally become part of the Olympics. Well, the Youth Olympics at least. However, no sooner was it announced than people started to spot the problems with this. First of all, b-boying and b-girling was renamed Dance Sport Break Dance. As if we haven't spent the last 20 years telling people the difference between break dance and breaking, b-boying and b-girling. Now we have the biggest event officially taking our most unofficial name. Thanks a lot, Olympics. Then it emerged the most important event for b-boys would be run by the WDSF. Now, if you're wondering who in the hell are the WDSF, you're not alone. They're actually a ballroom dancing organization. Yep, this supposedly knows all about this. 2016 ended with a petition to ban the WDSF and replace them with, you know, any other organisation or an organisation actually knows something about b-boy. Hashtag Brixploitation 2016. Appropriately after battling the Street Fighters Liu in the promos for Red Bull BC1, Taisuke decided to follow Gail's advice and go home and be a family man. He announced that this year would be his final Red Bull BC1. The Sage team set for Taisuke to win the competition. It was in Japan. He had a good run through to the finals. And although there was a Japanese champion for the first time at Taisuke's final Red Bull BC1, it was Issei, not Taisuke, who would be the champ after Taisuke crashed out to his old rival, Hong Ten. Still, salute the legendary Taisuke, one of the best Japanese b-boys of all time. The dispute about exactly how much touching should be allowed reared its ugly head again in 2016, whether it was Lee Lu doing this bizarre circus act, or Nagin practicing his forced joke, or whatever the hell was going on here. Genuinely, what the... <laughs> how far is too far is again being asked. With b continuing to get bigger and bigger, how much touching we're willing to tolerate will continue to be a big question. After trying to create an undisputed point system for b-boy, no sooner had Undisputed announced its final rankings and the point system came under fire for its bizarre awarding of points. Apparently Undisputed works on the same system that your teachers at kindergarten used, whereby you get points just for participating. Good on them. Therefore, some guys who went out in the first round of all their battles but entered a lot of them got to the grand finals, and others who got, for example, a couple of second or third places such as Skim and Hong Ten didn't. Of course, whether you rank consistency or individual achievement will decide whether you think this is fair or not, but it shows that trying to rank b-boying is far from a science. Finally, after a year of controversies, we finally saw the impossible happen, and Korea actually got sick of b-boying. Oh. While few things are more Korean than a guy doing impossible move combinations, with the possible exception of kimchi, the Korean government announced that they will no longer fund the bigger battle events in Korea. This led to the first cancellation of R16, right when Dizzy was planning the biggest event ever for the 10th anniversary. Yep, 2016 claimed another death. Rest in peace, R16. One scene that was really quiet until recently was the Taiwanese b-boy scene. Guys like me who've been around for a while remember when Taipei-based b-boy crews such as Formosa were some of the best in the world. But then, because of a lack of support, the scene disappeared off most people's radar. Well, 2016 marked the return of the mega events to Taiwan, with the year culminating in the Taipei B-Boy City event that chose the undisputed winner for Asia. As well as the Taiwanese, it was also good to see China, Hong Kong and Southeast Asia also making moves in the B-Boy scene. Go back in a couple of years and there were certain countries that always struggled in the B-Boy scene. Some didn't even have one. But recently dancers started noticing that there's no such thing as an easy battle anymore. So while the traditional powerhouses of France, USA, Japan, etc. are still going strong, lots of countries that aren't typically associated with breaking are creeping up the rankings. Shout out to Ukraine, Poland, Belgium, Kazakhstan, Israel, all of whom have incredible b-boy talent. Add to that a new generation of b-girls who will pretty much smoke anyone, man or woman. And the breaking scene has got a lot more exciting. While the rise of kids has been happening for a while, recently it got much bigger. Thanks to social media, B kids such as Suki, Shigekix, Terra, Kanta, and Yasmin have become names on everyone's lips. 
These days there are plenty of breakers who have a kid in their top 10 dancers list and that's an amazing thing for the scene. And finally, shout out to the guys that died this year. Mr. Animation, Adel Euro, Lil3000, Uggy, Andre Fuentes. Seriously guys, you were, you were huge to us, a big inspiration to all of us and you'll be missed.